Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. In 1921, on September the 7th, the evening of September the 7th, the vigil of the feast day of Our Lady's Nativity, a man and a group of women gathered together and the Legion of Mary began. Who is she that comes forth as a morning rising, fair as the moon, bright as the sun, terrible as an army, set in battle array. The Legion of Mary is the largest apostolic lay organization in the world. There are millions of members worldwide. This year, if you're watching the video this year, we're celebrating the centenary, a hundred years of this organization. The Legion of Mary means so much to me. I joined the Legion of Mary when I was 18. At 18 years old, when the first weekend I went to university, the Legion of Mary were founding a presidium at the university and they recruited me they asked me would i join the presidium of the legion of mary i didn't know what it involved i thought it was a group of maybe flower arrangers or something like that i thought this isn't going to be for me and then i went into the room where they were praying the rosary and afterwards i was told the legion of mary what we do is we come together and pray and then we are allocated work done in pairs and the work is home to home evangelization we do two hours knocking on doors each week sharing the catholic faith with others and then we report back to the meeting we revisit the laps we revisit those who are interested in becoming catholics and we do some other work we go to the cemetery pray with those in the cemetery and speak to them we go to the red light district and talk to the prostitutes. We go to the gay bars. We go to the laybys where men pull over their cars at the side of the road looking for impurity. We go to all these places to share the truths of the Catholic faith and to bring the presence of Our Lady there who wished to see and serve her son once again. It's a hundred years since the Legion of Mary was founded and I just wanted to make this video in appreciation to all the legionaries out there who are doing their two hours work and going beyond two hours in their legionary work. You can see a few clips from a video about the Legion of Mary. It's an amazing organization. The aim of the Legion of Mary is to give glory to God through the holiness of its members. And you know, I've got to say, when I joined the Legion of Mary at age 18, I was barely praying one rosary a day. Three years later, when I left university, I was praying three rosaries a day. And then some years later, I'm doing a little bit better than that even still. The Legion of Mary introduced me to the spirituality of late Saint Louis Marie de Montfort, the total consecration to Our Lady. The Legion of Mary is built around total consecration. It all began when Frank Duff, the founder of the Legion of Mary and a group of women, they read True Devotion and they thought, how can we respond to this? How can we respond to True Devotion? And they realized True Devotion is about handing yourself over to the Holy Spirit for him to form Jesus Christ in you. And the Holy Spirit does that through seeing the likeness of Mary in you. And they realize that wherever Our Lady is, the Holy Spirit flies there and he forms Jesus Christ. And so the Legion of Mary is about spreading devotion to Our Lady so that Jesus Christ can reign more fully. The Legion of Mary spreads devotion to Mary so that Jesus Christ may reign in the hearts of all men more fully. You can see some pictures here of Catholics in the Legion of Mary sharing their faith with others. Nowadays, there are so many schemes of evangelization in the church. My diocese keeps going on about, oh, we need another program for evangelization. We need more talks on evangelization. We need workshops. No, we don't. We need a system. We need simple laymen and women to go to a weekly meeting and then from that week meeting to share their faith with others and then to report back on what they've done. And then the next week, maybe to follow up some of them, maybe to do other work. The Legion of Mary is tried and tested. It works. In countries like South Korea, the Catholic faith has grown at an incredible rate because of the Legion of Mary. 
Even in England, I've seen the Legion of Mary work such miracles of grace when the system is operated properly. If you're in the USA, there are some amazing Legion of Mary groups, Presidia, in the USA. I think of Arlington, uh, Arlington, Virginia. There's an amazing Legion of Mary regia there. So probably all through the Diocese of Arlington, the Legion of Mary is probably really strong. And other parts of the USA as well, the Legion of Mary is flourishing. It's doing the work home to home, sharing the truths of the Catholic faith with others. There's no other organization in the Catholic Church that does this on a weekly basis. So this video is to thank all of you Legion of Marys. You are true missionaries. You're just like the missionaries we read of in the Acts of the Apostles. You're just like the missionaries in the days of old. And in eternity, Legionaries, you will not be ashamed to stand alongside the martyrs of the early church who shared their faith with others. You will not be ashamed to do so because you share your faith week in, week out through home to home, through crowd contact, through the book barrow, through all kinds of apostolic labors. The Legion of Mary isn't a prayer group. The Legion of Mary isn't a women's group. The Legion of Mary is an apostolic organization ordered towards evangelization. If you don't have the Legion of Mary in your parish, start the Legion of Mary in your parish. Get the Legion of Mary going in your parish. Priests, start the Legion of Mary. Lay people join the Legion of Mary. Seminarians get involved in the Legion of Mary. It's now 100 years since the Legion of Mary has been established and I pray that in the next 100 years we'll see it grow and flourish. Of course the Legion of Mary has got to adapt. I think maybe the Legion of Mary needs to change its headquarters from Dublin. Maybe change it to the USA, change it to Arlington, changing it to maybe Washington DC, change it to somewhere. The Legion of Mary is really flourishing. The Legion of Mary started in Dublin, in Ireland, but it's a global organization now and it doesn't need to be based in Dublin. It can be based somewhere where the Legion is strong because in the center, in the H quarters of the Legion of Mary at Concilium, you need manpower. You need fresh young Legionaries who've got the energy to contribute lots of hours to legionary service. Maybe South Korea, maybe Philippines, maybe some part of Argentina, places where the Legion of Mary is really strong. I pray that the Legion of Mary continues its amazing work, its great work, and I pray that some of you might find out some more about the Legion of Mary in its centenary year. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.